Hello, I'm the Eternal Newbie. The extra L is for lawful, as in lawful stupid. That's right. Today we're going to visit another member of the stupid family, the lawful stupid player. This is the player that will follow the letter of the law no matter what. Today we're going to focus on lawful good variety of lawful stupid, but they can also come in lawful evil and the dreaded lawful neutral flavors. Now, here to tell you the history of lawful stupid players is pro- Wait, this has to be a typo. Just read it. <sighs> Professor Biff. Thank you, plebeian newbie. I, Professor Biff, am here to enlighten you on the vast and storied history, or as I like to call it, the Biffstery of the lawful stupid player. Most people think lawful stupid began with advanced Dungeons and Dragons, but they would be wrong. The first modern documented lawful stupid player was George Goober Kristoff, runner-up in the inaugural World Pong Championships in 72. He was playing Mike the Hun Huntley in the finals when Huntley had a controller malfunction. You see, Huntley was known for his wild movements and thus had accidentally unplugged his controller. George scored the go-ahead point, but in a display of unbelievable showmanship and stupidity, he held the next serve until the Hun could reconnect. What followed was masterful play by the Hun, who scored three straight goals to take the championship. But that is not the oldest example. Oh, no, no, no. Not by a long shot. There was that time... Sorry, I thought that was actually going somewhere. Anyway, the lawful stupid player is the player who will do anything that is lawful, no matter what. Even if it harms them, the party, or some other innocent person. If this person was hanging off a cliff and a tiefling offered to help them up, they would refuse and fall to their deaths because I will never accept the help of someone whose ancestors were evil. Never mind that in their backstory their grandpa was some evil warlord. That's the problem here. Lawful stupid players see the world as black and white and never see shades of gray. Ha! You said gray. That means it's my turn. As I was saying... Lawful stupid goes back to even further. Take the sad case of Wilbur Plowman, also known as Willie the Hoe, a 12th century serf in Westshire. Hey, get your minds out of the gutter. He was named after the garden tool, for he was quick with a hoe. In fact, Willie was the fastest hoer around. He would come from far and wide to watch him hoe. What a hoer he was. One day, though, a stranger came to town and challenged him to a hoe-off. Willie gladly accepted, and the grueling five-day contest began. After three days, the hoe had a commanding lead, and all knew he'd easily finish on the fourth. The problem was, the next day was thanks pigging, and the hoe decided to take it off. He could have easily finished before noon and enjoyed his thanks pigging feast, but he said it was a sin to work on that holy day, though exceptions were often made for hoeing contests in that day. Sadly, Willie fell into a bacon coma that eve and did not awaken until nearly dusk on the last day. By then, the stranger had completed his hoeing, thus earning the coveted nickname of the hoe. Wilbur left the village in shame, never to be seen again. Though some say they can still hear his sad hoeing on cold, quiet evenings. What does this have to do with anything? He followed the law, and he lost. Stupid. He was obviously lawful stupid. You're just stupid. Anyway, true lawful stupid players never look at the good part of their alignment. They just follow the law, no matter what. They won't lie because that's evil. Never mind that by lying they could save some innocent's life. Unsurprisingly, their actions usually end up being evil. Hey, look at that orphan who stole two apples to go feed his little sister. Don't worry, folks. I will stop the thief. It'll be easy. He has short little legs. I will follow him to the ends of the earth, for he has committed a crime. They also don't use contractions for some reason. Even when the rest of the party tells them to make like Elsa and let it go, they don't. They never look at the big picture. Say the party has a chance to make a deal with a giant to stop another giant. Both giants are evil, but the other one is the one you have to kill anyway. Lawful Stupid would never make that deal. They would attack both, and then the party might just end up being history. Speaking of history, allow me to tell you of Agathocles, the soft, greatest of the Athenian warriors. He is the very first written account of a Lawful Stupid person. Good old Aggie, being the greatest warrior of his time, was tasked with fighting a warrior from an opposing army to settle a dispute. 
Both sides agreed that whoever had won, the army would be declared victorious. All knew Agathocles would win, and on a sunny day, they met on the field of battle. Agathocles was faster than lightning that day, easily striking blow after blow on his opponent until finally having knocked the man's shield and sword out of reach, he went for the killing blow. That's when his opponent called timeout. This was the first documented attempt at calling timeout in history. After hearing what it meant, Agathocles was unsure at first, but then he slowly lowered his weapon and allowed his opponent to collect the items. Next, while Agathocles was stretching his hammies to stay limbered up, the opponent quickly called time in and lopped off his head. That opponent had won the day, and to this day, only brilliant scholars such as myself remember him. But everybody has heard of his opponent, even if they don't know it. Referius the Blind. On the bright side, that's got to be the last one you can talk about it if it's the first documented case. Lawful stupid players are not people you want at your table. And what it really comes down to is they want to control the game. They use their alignment as an excuse, but it really is them wanting to be the main character. Your plan won't work because it involves lying and lying is evil, so we're going to have to do my plan. They really suck the joy out of the game. Not only that, but they are boring to play with. And they make the game boring by cutting out a lot of our choices. If you want to play Lawful Stupid, go play Candyland and leave the D&D to the rest of us. Not to besmirch the good name of Candyland, that game rocks. Anyhow, thanks for watching. If you have a spotlight player you'd like to see me talk about, let me know in the comments. But give me some details so I don't have to rely on Biff's <coughs> masterful storytelling. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, play your character. Don't let your character play you. Whoa, hold up. I am not done yet. You see, there's this cave painting. It's probably about 30,000 years old, where this one dude was bent down, perhaps tying his shoe, when another stuck a spear in his back. This is generally considered the first documented case of Lawful Stupid. Thank you.